Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Thursday, December 23rd, 2021, and I am coming on here with kind of a hodgepodge of stuff for you. Um, I have some Santa sacks. I have an old Lion Brand order. We have a traveling podcaster shawl, and I have some happy mail, and I want to talk to you guys about an auction that's coming up. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. Oh my gosh, do you see the goodies right there? <laughs> Um, I live in the Chicago area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, like the vegetable. And we have a bunch of animals in this place, so we call it the zoo. So um, I wanted to invite you guys to come and join our Facebook group for this podcast. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers, and I guarantee you there will, there will be a nice giveaway once we get to 3,000. So come join. Uh, there are three questions that you have to answer, and I promise you they're really, really easy. Um, um, I am on Instagram, so come follow me there. That is connected to my Facebook business page. So if you are not on Instagram and you want to see what I post on there, you can come follow the Rose Likes Crochet business page over there. Okay, so what else? Etsy, I make stitch markers. Um, I just put an, up, put an update um, on a couple days ago, so please go and check it out. If you cannot afford to buy anything, I totally understand. If you could favorite the shop and go in and um, put the click on the little heart next to some of the items, that really does help um, the analytics for my Etsy shop. So I really do appreciate it. And um, I think that's it. TikTok. I just started TikTok. I'm still trying to figure that out. You guys, Jennifer Jennifer from Crafty Bones is on TikTok. <laughs> She's so cute. Cinnamon Stitch is on TikTok. Oh my gosh, you guys, you got to go and check it out if you're on there. Um, okay, so I think that's all like the admin stuff. I don't even know, you guys. It's almost Christmas, right? So I hope you guys are having a good holiday season. I celebrate Hanukkah, so that's long over. Um, but I do have some happy mail, and I think some of it is Christmas cards. So let's get into that first. So I figured I'd show you guys what this is. <laughs> since it was sitting right over there. Poppy Reindeer Crunch. Oh my gosh, this was gifted to me and it's very good. I'm sorry you had to look at that. I'll put it away, okay, you guys? <laughs> anyway, so let's get to some happy mail. Oh my gosh, you guys are so sweet. You don't ever have to send anything for me, but I so appreciate it. It's so exciting to get cards and stuff in the mail. So speaking of Jennifer at Crafty Bones, by the way, anyone that I mention, um, on here. Um, I will have a link for them down in the description box so you guys can go and check them out. Okay, so the first um, holiday card that I got is from Jennifer at Crafty Bones. And you guys, I don't want to show her address, but I want to show you how she printed out my label. Look at that. She put a menorah on my label. You are so, so sweet, Jennifer. Thank you so much. There's a doggy looking a pole. Poor guy, he's gonna pay for that, right? <laughs> and the card says Mary Quithmith. <laughs> and um, yes, thank you so much for your card, Jennifer. I do appreciate it, that's adorable. All right, the next card that I got comes from Annette and Annette is from Texas. And she sent that card. Oh my gosh, you guys, we don't have any snow yet here. Oh, she sent an ornament. <gasps> Holy mackerel. Oh my goodness. Okay, so um, love hugs from Annette and Pastel. Oh, AKA Pastel Dreams. Okay, so you guys have to see this snowflake she made. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Annette, thank you so much for sending that. It's gorgeous. Oh, I do appreciate that. Okay, the next card I got is from Marsha, and she's from Michigan. And Marsha is also known as Made by Marsha's Mom, Marsha. Hi, Marsha. She moved closer to me now. Woohoo. Um, and she makes all these cards handmade. Oh my gosh. Warm wishes from our house to yours. And look at how cute this little bear guy is. Oh my gosh. Marsha, where's the stuff? Where's the stuff? Seriously? Um, <laughs> thank you so much. 
Okay, you guys, if you've ever gotten a card from Marsha before, she always puts confetti in her cards, and there was no confetti in that one. So um, <laughs> you're slacking, Marsha. <laughs> okay, the next card I got is from, oh, Laurel from The Dabbling Hook. I will link her down below. Oh my gosh, look at the card. It's her Octos. It's a Grinchy Octo. Happy holidays. <gasps> from the dabbling hook. Oh, Rel, you are just so awesome. Thank you so much for sending that. And then I got a postcard. Look at those guys. This is from Roseanne. Um, I know I missed Hanukkah, but happy, happy anyway. <laughs> problem. You guys are so awesome. You didn't even have to send any Hanukkah cards at all, but that's so sweet of you. Okay, the next one here comes from Dana, and she's from Texas. Hi, Dana. And she sent this card right here. You guys are so sweet. Oh, and it has a Hanukkah thing inside. Um, I don't want to show her name. Let me see if I can do this without showing her name, because she wrote her last name there. But there you go. She sent that. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you so much for sending that. Okay, so the next card comes from, let's see, there's no name on the return address. And oh, there's something on the inside. Sorry it's late, happy Hanukkah. There's a T. Thank you so much for the T. Still a mystery person who this is. But there's a really long note here, so let me see if I can get a name. <laughs> Please do not read on camera. This is Tracy. Okay, so Tracy, thank you so much. I will read your letter later on, but I so appreciate the card. <laughs> it is so adorable. Just wanted to make sure you had a gift to open for each day of Hanukkah. And then the inside says, well, that takes care of the first day. Now just open this card every night for the next week. <laughs> oh, Tracy, that's awesome. Okay, the next card comes from Tammy, and she is here on YouTube as Twisted Stitches. Hi, Tammy. And she is in Florida. You guys got to go check her out. Um, and Hannah, um, I know it's late. Okay, so the Hanukkah wishes and it's late. It's okay, you guys. Don't even worry about it. You know, you can never really tell when Hanukkah comes. So, okay, next one or the last card that I have is from Petra's Happy Place and she's from Kentucky. Hi, Petra. And here is the card that she sent. It's beautiful. Um, Aw, thank you so much for those words, Petra. That is amazing. Okay, so you guys are so sweet. I got this package in the mail, and this is from Gotcha Hooked. And I didn't order anything from Gotcha Hooked. I already sliced it open so I wouldn't have to spend so much time opening envelopes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's a card in here. So let's see what the card says. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. You guys are so sweet. Happy holidays to you and your family from Vicki. And oh, how cool. Shut the front door, Vicki, are you serious? You know, that's perfect for walking the dog because I can stick my phone and my keys in there and some poop bags, don't tell him. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my gosh. And that's what she always says, be blessed on purpose. Okay, you guys, I know it's close to the holidays for everybody, so be blessed on purpose, okay? Th Vicki, thank you so much for this bag. That is absolutely amazing, and I am gonna put it to good use right away, like seriously, right away. Thank you so much for that. So the next box I got is from, let's see here, from Rosalie, and she's from Pennsylvania, and she sent this card. You guys are so sweet. Some women have a talent for kindness, a gift for friendship, and a subtle strength that others can depend on. Thanks for being one of them. Aw, enjoy a much deserved rest from Rosalie. I think she's referring to wings <laughs> because we're not doing anything for wings. At least not, we're not taking donations at all. Um, but she sent me a box of goodies. So let's see what's, oh, there's a lot of tea. Oh, I see chocolate. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Okay, so there's like a, a tin of truffles. Yes, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, there's a, there's so much tea in here. Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's awesome, you guys. Look at this. I'll show you all the tea. That's amazing. 
thank you so much for sending all of this tea. That is incredible. And thank you for sending the chocolates. You really didn't have to do that. That was so, so sweet of you. And Rosalie, thank you so much for donating as much as you did to Wings this year. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so um, I have another box here. Um, you guys are really too kind. Let me see who this is from. Someone from Georgia, but there's no name on here. So let me see if there's, oh, there's yarn. Aha, uh -huh. can't go wrong with yarn. Here's a card. And I did cut all these boxes open, but I didn't look into them. So, okay, so this is um, Marche. Hey, Marche. Um, Thank you for allowing me to participate in the WINGS program. I really enjoyed it and look forward to getting started next year. I've enclosed several things for you. However, if you can't use them, please feel free to pass them on to someone who can. Oh my gosh, Marche, you are just so kind, so kind. Oh my gosh, there's yarn, there's yarn. <gasps> yes, ooh, so pretty. That is Loops and Threads Impeccable. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Tropical Storm. That's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Oh my. There's chocolates in here, you guys. The package came undone. <laughs> Look at all those chocolates. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, and then there's some tea. Chamomile honey and vanilla. That's awesome thank you so much oh and a little reindeer pin oh my gosh is he cute you made this marche that is just adorable see i can pin him to my coat and he's got like a little jingle bell oh that is so sweet marche thank you so much you did not have to send all this it is amazing and i I really do appreciate everyone who donated to Wings this year. And we're going to talk about that in a minute because I have the other podcaster shawl. So, okay, I have one more happy mailbox. All right, you guys. So this next happy mail, I knew this was coming. So my friend Joyce, I actually got to meet her and roommate with her at um, Crystal from Bag o Day at her last um, retreat that she had. It was a couple of years ago. She doesn't have the retreats anymore, but um, I got to room with Joyce. And um, Joyce is a... Um, she loves to go to Hawaii and actually I've been to Hawaii several times myself and um, she asked me what I would what I would like from there and I was like um, well the weather um, the ocean <laughs> but you know whatever you can find that's kind of similar I'll take that too um, so she said she sent me a goodie box so we're gonna see what's in the goodie box I haven't I haven't peeked in there yet okay so we have a, a card okay so hold on a second she sent a card she's so sweet you guys um oh, that's where i would like to be right now oh my gosh it's even a card from the islands that is just gorgeous she likes turtles and my daughter is a turtle fanatic so while she was there she was sending me videos of the turtles that were like right next to her so <laughs> So she says, enclosed are a few Hawaiian treasures for you to enjoy. Um, sorry, carrots, no peanut free facilities on Kauai, but she found a few things that she hopes she enjoys. So my daughter has peanut allergies and she can't have anything made in a facility with peanuts either. So let's see what Joyce has found. Looks like she went to this chocolate company, Kauai Chocolate Company. Yes, ma'am. Let's see what we got. Okay, so she has this package for carrots. Carrots is my daughter. So I'm going to open it because I want to see what it is. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. What's this? A lantern. Oh, it's a hanging lantern. So she gave her a pen. Don't worry, Joyce. She'll get this all. <laughs> And here is the lantern. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, it turns into a star and that's the pattern. And that's gorgeous. Thank you so much for sending her that. I so appreciate that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's tea. Yum. Mango Maui. What is this one? Passion fruit Nepali. Oh my gosh, this stuff looks so good. 
and tropical medley with real fruit. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. What is this? Oh, Hanua honey. Oh my gosh. It's honey sticks. So you can put that in your tea, but those teas sound like they're sweet already. Okay. Here's something else for carrots. Yeah, I'm going to open it. <laughs> carrots isn't here today, so I get to open her stuff. Okay, so she's got, oh, she's got a mask with the sea turtles on it. What? Oh, that's gorgeous. This is what it looks like. Wow. Oh, my gosh. She's going to be so happy. Here's a little bag to match that. Oh, my gosh. I'm so jealous. And then she's got oh, a sand animal, and it's a little, it's a little turtle. And yes, my daughter collects little turtles, so she will be very happy with that. And then what else we got? This one says my name on it. <laughs> Ooh, soap. Cocoa chocolate soap. What? Oh my gosh, it smells good. Oh, look at this mask. Yes, and that's my color. Thank you so much for that. And then I've got a pen for myself, purple. And then here is a chocolate truffle macadamia nut. Yes, thank you very much for that. Oh my gosh, there's more. Okay, so Joyce is a girl after my own heart. I unwrapped all this stuff so I could show you. Okay, so we have some milk chocolate with macadamia nut. Oh my gosh, I am so set for at least a couple days. <laughs> Kawaii chocolate bar. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Kawaii Chocolate Company. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna eat it. It looks delicious. Oh my gosh. Island Princess. Toffee-coated macadamia nuts covered in luscious milk chocolate. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I need to go to Kauai apparently when I go back to Hawaii. Here is some more Kauai chocolate. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good over here. <laughs> and then here is, oh my gosh, whatever that is. More kawaii chocolate. <gasps> okay, and then, <laughs> you guys, she wrapped this thing up, and it says, I know you don't drink, but it's chocolate, so I don't drink alcohol. <laughs> but this is some kind of chocolate liquor. <laughs> Joyce, I hope you're okay with knowing this is just going to sit unopened, because, yeah, I don't drink, <laughs> but thank you so much for getting that. That is so cool. Joyce, thank you so much for sending all of these goodies from Hawaii for me and for my daughter. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, if I ever go somewhere nice, I will make sure that I get you a goodie box too. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna get to the um, the Lion Brand Santa sacks, and then at the end, we're gonna do the traveling podcaster shawl. Hang on, guys. Okay, you guys, so I have been watching everyone open up their Santa sacks, and um, I got five of them, and I haven't looked at any of the bags to see what they are. I know that Crystal got some, and they were all the same, and I think anyone else who's gotten more than one, they were all the same. So <laughs> we'll see what's in these and if they're all the same. They were $19.99, and this was a couple weeks ago. I don't know if they have any more. They did send an invoice, but of course, there's no price on the invoice, but that's okay because we all know that they were $19.99. So they come in these cool Santa sacks, these red bags, secret stash. Oh my gosh, how cute. I'm sure everyone has already seen these by now. So let's see what's in them. Um, I just put the other ones like right here behind me so we can check them out. All right, so let's see what's in this one. All right, so we have Mandala Tweed, Stripes, the color is Shooting Star, now, I know Mama G Gear got this, and I think she needed more. So, Mama G Gear, let me know if you need some more of these, because it looks like I've got them here. <laughs> All right, and then I've got Basic Stitch, and what is the color on this one? Nightfall, and I really like that yarn. It's not bad. Okay, and then we have, I think everyone is getting this Oh Baby Organic. So, I have three of these, and... Uh, I cannot see the color. It's called Coral. So that's not bad. So that's nine skeins of yarn for $19.99. So that's really not a bad deal at all um, if you're going to use it, right? So, um, so that is one of them. So let's get another one and see what's in there. 
Okay, you guys, <laughs> it's the same thing. So the tweed stripes, the basic stitch, <laughs> and the baby organic cotton. So let's get the next one and see what's in that one. You guys, it's the same stuff. <laughs> the same baby organic, the same basic stitch, and the same tweed. So we're gonna see what's in the next one here. All right, we got another basic stitch. <laughs> three more of those mandala tweeds and three more of the baby organic cotton. And we have one more bag. I bet you it's the same stuff. All right, guys. <laughs> same color, baby organic, same basic stitch stitch and the same mandala tweed. So <laughs> it looks like I have a lot. I have a lot of the same thing, which is totally fine. I mean, I could make a blanket with, I don't even need five of these. So I don't know, maybe they'll be in some giveaways or I can use some of, like I can make this um, Santa Sacks um, thank you gifts for next year's wings. I don't know, we'll see. But that, that was pretty fun. And like Crystal says, I mean, you don't get them expecting to have specific yarn in there right you get them because it's a mystery so and I enjoyed it anyway so I'll put this stuff away but I think it was like a month and a half ago I don't even remember I'll look at the invoice I ordered from Lion Brand they were having a really good sale and it's been sitting because you guys I've been really busy with wings um so I'm going to show you guys what I got from that sale all right you guys <laughs> I just opened up the box and here's my invoice and it looks like I ordered this on October 21st. Oh my gosh, this was two months ago. This is crazy, you guys. Someone remind me next year when we're doing wings not to order any yarn, like until it's all over because it was just sitting here for two months. I don't remember what the prices were. I'm pretty sure everything I got was on sale for a really good deal because if you guys know me, I don't buy anything if it's not a good deal. All right, so we're gonna just, I'm gonna show you real quick what I got. I don't know if some of this is discontinued and that's why I got it. Um, I have no idea, you guys. Okay, so I got some Lion Brand Hometown and I got a three pack. This is 64 yards, it's super bulky. And the color on this is Little Rock Granite. And I don't know why I only got three. I should have gotten more than that. Okay, uh, box is right here, so I'm gonna drop it in the box. All right, I got some Vanna's Choice. Um, the color is asparagus green. You guys, it's not green at all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe that's why they were clearancing it out. I don't know. Okay, and then um, I was looking, I do have quite a bit of this um, Lion Brand Ice Cream Cotton Blend, but I didn't have these two colors. So I got five of each and these are not in plastic, so I can show you the colors there. Oh my gosh, that one's called orange and I got five. And this one is called lemon and I got five of those. So um, I'm thinking baby blanket for these, um, but I've got a lot going on right now. So no baby blankets for a while. So I got five of each of those. Then they had this cotton ease for a limited time only cotton ease. And I don't want to go over specs too much on these because if they're discontinued, then you guys probably won't be able to get them, which kind of stinks. These are 60 cotton, 40 acrylic. They're number four um, weight. This color is called goldenrod. So I got, I don't know why I only got two. <laughs> I have no idea what my thoughts were at the time. And this one is called amber. It's, it's really pretty, but I don't, I don't know, maybe, um, a market bag with those I have no idea okay then they had this fun fur on sale it had to be on sale because I wouldn't have bought it otherwise <laughs> wow you guys I don't know what my thing is with neons lately but so this is gopher faux I think they had this at Walmart at one point um and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it but it's so pretty um it is a number six super bulky there's only 65 yards it's 100% polyester it's so soft this is called Glowworm. Okay, then I got this one, which is called Lightning Bug. Oh man, are these awesome. This one is called Dory. 
like Dory from Finding Nemo. This one is called Meow Pink. What? Since when is a cat meow pink? <laughs> and then this one is called Tamarin. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. Okay, so it looks like I need to make some hats and then like make this around the edging because I can't think of what else to do with this, but oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'm so excited I got this, you guys. If anyone has worked with this, let me know. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you did with it besides like trim on a hat. Okay, and then they had the re-up cotton on sale and I got a lot of it. Let me show you. All right, you guys, I am pretty sure these were on sale for like a buck each. Okay, so this is the Lion Brand Cotton Re-Up and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's see. I think they probably still have it, but I couldn't tell you for sure. And um, these are 2.1 ounces, 103 yards, 100% recycled cotton. It's a number four cotton. And I'm pretty sure I got them because I was making washcloths for and face scrubbies for craft fairs, but now I have like a whole year to to do that so or I could probably do um market bags with these too anyway so I got six of each color so I'll show you so this is called cotton candy and it's like a purple purple and pink purple and pink there and then of course I got purple so I'll show you guys while I search for the color name on that this is called lilac so I got six of those and then I just got white, and it's called white. So I got six of those. And then we have um, lime. It doesn't look very limey to me. It looks more like a grass green. And then I got this color, which is called saffron. And it's like oranges and like a um, slate blue and a cream in there. I got this one, which I'm going to assume is just called red. Yep, it's just called red. And then I got this color, which is called aqua. So pretty. I love these. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use these. Navy. Doesn't look navy. There you go. And then the last color I got is called um, orange. <laughs> So that was my stuff from Lion Brand from two months ago. That's absolutely ridiculous. Who, who keeps yarn for that long sitting in a box? I do. Okay, let's get to the traveling podcaster shawl because I got a box from Joe and she was the last person to have Team Purple. So let's open up her box. All right, you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to show you the box here. It says Team Purple. This was not the box that I sent this in, you guys. This is not the box. The box I sent it in was like this big because it only needed to hold a cake of sheep G's. I know that's not the way to pronounce it, yarn. A hook, a card, some stitch markers, and tea. And that's the way it was supposed to come back to me. But Joe from Joe's Web, hi Joe, was the last person to have it for Team Purple. And um, I think she went a little bit overboard. She did tell me she was sending me some extras, but I didn't realize it was going to be this much extra. Okay, so we have a card here. You guys are so fun. So for those of you who might be new here, what we did is we did... Um, I wanted to raise some money for WINGS. Now, WINGS is a domestic violence organization that's based here in the Chicago area. And this whole year and last year, we have been donating handmade items to them. So what I wanted to do is um, for the month of December, they were really busy with holiday stuff and we weren't able to donate anything, but I wanted to give them a monetary donation. So I asked a bunch of podcasters if they would help make shawls that we could sell in my Etsy shop. And I had two of these sheep G's cakes that are pretty expensive and Reggie from J Hook Crochet agreed to let us use her pattern it's called the Asgard shawl and um, we sent these cakes to um, two teams they were each supposed to work on um, a certain repeat of the shawl and then send it back and then the plan was to um, put these shawls up for sale in my Etsy shop. Well, that has changed a little bit, but I do want to show you Team Purple here first, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do. So this is the card that Joe sent, and she didn't have to. Joe, 
Um, you are such a blessing to all who know you. Thank you for letting me be a part of this collab for Wings. Now, I so appreciate everyone who was a part of it. Now, I'm going to tell everybody, I'm going to tell you guys who was a part of it. There is a playlist down below in the on my YouTube channel for everyone who, who did, um, who participated. Okay, so she sent me this bag. <laughs> it's a Mardi Gras bag. Jo lives in Louisiana, and her channel is called Joe's Web, so go and check her out. Okay, so she's got... What? Come on now. I just sent you one little tiny box. You're not supposed to do this, Joe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so there's a, a package, a Mardi Gras package. So I got some beads. Oh my gosh, how fun. Oh my goodness gracious. There's little alligators on there. Okay, I have to wear them. Okay, and then she's got um, a Mardi Gras, Mardi Gras bracelet. Okay, so that has to go on. And then she sent me some tea. Thank you so much. And there is a postcard. Louisiana. <laughs> you guys see the eyes? Oh my God. In the back it says, Rose, wish you were here. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't want to be right there though. <laughs> okay, and then, oh cool, a little hot pad from New Orleans. Is there a recipe on there? There is. Oh, gumbo. Ooh, okay, so I'm going to do that, but I'm not going to do any spices, just so you know. Okay, I have a little umbrella. <laughs> How cute. A little Mardi Gras umbrella. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh, and it works. You can put that like on your picnic table so that your food doesn't get all melted by the sun, right? And then what do we have here? Okay, Joe, I don't know what that's for. Is that like a headband or is that supposed to go around your waist? Cause that won't fit around my waist. <laughs> anyway, let me know what this is for. Okay, and then, oh my God, she sent yarn. Okay, so we have, shut the front door. Joe, are you serious? I've had this Knit Crate yarn before. It is so pretty and it's so soft. So to Knitology Glowing Worsted, the colorway is beta. 40% superwash merino, oh my gosh, 30% silk, 30% alpaca worsted weight. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. We're not even getting to the shawl. Okay, and then we have Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Oh my gosh, there's so much of it here. Okay, so it's um, it's clearance yarn from Hobby Lobby, but I love clearance yarn from Hobby Lobby. Um, what is this called? Blue Multi. It is, I love this yarn. So there's two, and then there's four. Hold on. Five, <laughs> six. Is there a shawl in here? Seven. <laughs> There's the, oh, there's the little box. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the box that I sent. Okay, so there were seven of those. I love this yarns. And then there's two of these Karen Big Cakes. And this is called Blueberry Tort. So I have two of those. Ah, oh, Jojo, you are so sweet. Okay, so here, <laughs> this, here's the box, you guys. Team Purple, okay? This is like, the box I sent was just a tiny bit bigger than this, and this was supposed to come back to me, not all that stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, Joe, you're crazy. All right, so we're gonna show you guys what it looks like. It looks like they gave me back um, some tea and stitch markers that I had put in the package. I had also sent them a hook so that they could actually make the shawl. And then here is the pattern, which um, you guys need to go and check out Reggie at J Hook Crochet. And then here is what they had left of the cake. So just so you guys can see which cake it was, it was a Sheep G's Whirl. And the color on this is called, it's called purple something. Um, it's called Lavender Licious. Lavender Licious. Okay, so if you guys have been following along with the traveling podcaster shawl, you'll have already seen what this looks like because Joe showed it. But I'm going to show you guys. Oh, look, she put a little heart from a dryer sheet on there so that it would smell nice. <laughs> okay, oh my gosh. Look at this, you guys. It's beautiful. Oh. Oh my gosh, you all did such an amazing job on these shawls. It's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so 
I am going to tell you what we're going to do. First, I would like to thank everyone who participated in the Traveling Podcaster Shawl, and I'm going to read you their names. Team Purple was Carrie Penny, Happy Crafty Homemaker, Stephanie's Yarn Escape, Alyssa from Anaya's Toy Box, Joe from Joe's Web, Tracy from I Love Loopy, and Jax. Okay, so Team Yellow was Tammy from Twisted Stitches, Kim, and she is in California. She is the crafty nomad. I got to meet her. And then um, Sheila from the Crochet Nurse, um, Kay from Kay's Crochet Haven, Kay. Dina from Dina's Homespun Fun, and Kit from All Things Crochet and Knit with Kit. So like you guys, this was absolutely amazing that we had so many amazing talented podcasters and crocheters help with this project these two projects okay thank you guys so much for um shipping the box back and forth for working on it for using such a small hook i know tracy was fine with it because she does um she does those shawls with a thin yarn all the time um but i just want to say thank you guys so much for participating in this so my original intent was to um, put these up for sale in my Etsy shop and I was going to have the two and I was going to sell them for $100 each and then I was going to be able to write a check to Wings for $200. Um, but someone recommended that we do an auction. So we are going to do an auction and um, I did a poll, a questionnaire on my Facebook group and asked um, would an Instagram auction work better or um, uh, you know, um, just put it for sale in my Etsy shop, like what would people recommend? So a lot of people don't have Instagram, so a lot of people said not to do it on Instagram because then they wouldn't have the opportunity. And a lot of people said to do a silent auction because then people who are in other time zones would be able to participate. Um, but I cannot, um, I can't get those details worked out for a silent auction. Um, it would not just be an email thing, it would have to be like specific software for that. So I'm not gonna do a silent auction. So this is what I've decided to do. Um, I am gonna do a live YouTube broadcast and it's going to be, I, I wrote it down so I'd remember. It's going to be on Sunday, January 2nd and it's gonna start at seven o'clock Central Standard Time. So if you are like in the Eastern time zone, that would be eight o'clock for you. If you're behind me, it's it would be six o'clock. I don't know what it would be if you're international. Um, I don't wanna accept any emails for bids because I'm not gonna be able to keep track of that and also watch the people on the live. So um, if you can make it on Sunday, January 2nd, 2022 at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we're gonna do a live auction. Now I'm gonna tell you that I don't just have the traveling podcaster shawls. So I have Team Purple, which is this one, and then I have Team Yellow, which is this one, which I've shown before, and then Kit from All Things Crochet and Knit with Kit. She donated a shawl for us to auction off as well. And it, believe it or not, it's the exact same pattern. So we're gonna auction off this shawl as well. And I'll show them um, on the live before we actually do this. Um, also, Billy the Crafty Floridian donated two Dammit dolls for me for thank you gifts for November wings. And one person did not claim it. So I actually have, oops, sorry about that. I actually have, this is getting caught on stuff. Hang on, guys. <laughs> I actually have a Damn It doll from Billy, and this is gonna get auctioned off too. I actually emailed Billy today, or uh, yesterday, and asked her if she wouldn't mind if we auctioned off a Damn It doll, and she said that would be absolutely fine. So this is also gonna get auctioned off. Now keep in mind, you guys, 100% of the proceeds from anything that gets auctioned off here is gonna go to Wings. Um, and I can show you guys a check that I write or the whatever it is if you guys want proof, but all of this is gonna go to Wings. And then um, I actually talked to Alyssa from Anaya's Toy Box. She gifted me this doll a while ago. I'm gonna show you this. And my daughter is kinda old for dolls 
and I asked Alyssa if she wouldn't mind if I auctioned this off as well, and she said that would be fine. So this doll from Anaya's, and I'll take her out of the package when we're doing the auction. This doll is gonna be auctioned off as well. So I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have the Damn It doll, I'm gonna have three shawls, and then let me know if you guys think that this would be okay. I actually made this, what are these called? Like these um, campfire cardigans? I made this, this is the only wearable I've ever made you guys. <laughs> and um, let me know if you think that this would be okay to, to auction off as well. Of course it's purple, it's got sleeves, I actually like it a lot, um, but I haven't worn it. So I was thinking maybe <clears throat> someone else would want to wear this. So let me know if you think that that would be okay to auction that off. And you guys know someone named Crystal at Bag O Day? I thought you did. <laughs> she was on a live the other day and she said she was going to donate some stuff for me to auction off as well. So I don't know what that's going to be yet. I'm waiting to hear from her. Um, so we're gonna have more than just three shawls to auction off. It's gonna be so fun and exciting. I hope you guys can join. Um, I'll see if I can set one of those reminder things. Um, I know I don't usually pay attention to those. <laughs> um, but set an, set an alarm on your calendar for now. It'll be on Sunday, January 2nd at 7 p.m. And I'll try and post some reminders in the community tab and on the Facebook group and an Instagram and stuff like that. So. Whew, that's it. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to write a check to Wings and help them out after the holidays. Believe it or not, they get a lot of stuff. I actually volunteered for them last Saturday, um, helped them give out Christmas presents um, for families, and that was amazing. But, you know, now we're back to basics, um, and I'm excited to be able to donate to them so that they can um, refill their pantries up. So that's pretty cool. All right, you guys, any questions, please let me know. You can email me, roselikescrochet at gmail.com. Um, please uh, like this video if you can, share it if you can. Um, let everybody know like that we're going to do the auction on January 2nd at 7 p.m. So if you're in other Facebook groups, please post that and let, that, let everybody know they should come and join us. Um, and I probably will need a moderator. So if anyone is interested and you hop on, just uh, let me know. I don't know if I can do that in advance. If you are, if you're smart about that and you know, let me know. <laughs> let me know how that works. So we're going to probably need a moderator to help figure out who's bidding on what. All right. So that is it. I hope you guys have a great holiday and we will talk to you later. Bye.